Hi, I'm L Lanny Martinick. Uh, I own Stoneboat Vineyards. Uh, we're in a block of Pinotage now that is approximately 10 years old. You'll notice it's very closely planted. That was to reduce the amount of crop per vine and that is so that we can ripen it a bit earlier and make it a bit less susceptible to winter injury. Here our problem is that Pinotage is a bit mud sensitive and so it can be susceptible to winter injury. It was injured a few years ago. Uh, this is now mid-September. These vines will probably be harvested the third week of October to the last week of October. Um, the crop is about four, four and a half tons an acre here at this time. We will go through and thin it one more time uh, once we have taken all the leaves off for intensity of color. We're hoping to get about 24 to 25 bricks. That's what we usually pick our pinotage at. And uh, it, it's been a very good growing grape. Uh, you'll notice it's a very high trellis. This is because we can also get frost here. This is quite a desert area with a large shift from day to night temperature. We can go from almost 30 degrees Celsius to zero. In, in, uh, from the maximum, let's say at four in the afternoon till three the next morning is when we usually get frost. So in the, the high trellis keeps the buds out of the frost in the spring. And in the fall, it allows airflow under the canopy so that we can use wind machines to uh, blow the cold air out and circulate it. We usually get one or two days in the fall where we can get frost and that is what the primary use for protection is wind machines. The, the Pinotage here, I guess you can see from the canopy, it grows very well on its own roots, very vigorous, very upright grower. Uh, the root system is, uh, I would say, a semi-fine root system. It's not a coarse, a heavy root, but it's a fine root. I'd attribute that to the Pinot Noir. It doesn't seem to bunch rot here much. I believe that's due to the Sinso. It's more resistant to bunch rot than its sister Pinot Noir, which is growing right next door to this. So we have a very good comparison. But it does ripen a month later than Pinot Noir. Thank you. Okay. I can, I'll try and think of some more.